are here with our Division One and Two Team Sweepstakes winner, Lauren Ping, Desert Vista of Arizona, who wins in 1647. First and foremost, congratulations. Um, if you could take us through the race, um, obviously it being the first time running Mount Sac, uh, maybe you've heard of the course before. Was there a game plan coming in of how you wanted to attack, or was it more just reactionary to maybe some of the other runners? Well, yeah, I've definitely like, seen this race on like major running platforms before. And so I came in knowing that there were obviously big hills, and I came in yesterday, and I like looked at the course. I didn't see the whole thing. I just saw this hill. And so I was just came in to like do my best and try and stick with the top and see what I can do. Now, obviously, when you get in a race like this, you're, you're obviously competing against a lot of quality runners. And there's a lot of counterplay that goes on, moves and surges and things of that nature. Mentally, what were you telling yourself as the race was kind of unfolding and that lead pack was starting to define itself? What were you telling yourself about what you needed to do to be successful? Well, I always heard, like, is it like Poop Out Hill or something back there? <laughs> That's like the hardest hill. And so after that hill, I kind of was like, okay, I'm almost done. I knew that I was like close to the finish. And I was like hurting, obviously, because it's a big hill. And then I came to this one. I actually thought this one was harder than that. Um, and just like knowing that I had to like fly down the downhills and use them because they'll help you. Um, just knowing that and like being, being mentally tough because with hills you have to be very mentally tough. You talked about it being mentally tough. Obviously, when you're a freshman runner coming in, you're, there's a tendency to compete against runners that have more experience. To display that kind of toughness and to get that victory here today, what does that say about the capabilities that you have? Well, I lived in Minnesota. I just moved to Arizona, so I lived in Minnesota the past two, well, my whole life. And the past two years in Minnesota for seventh and eighth grade, you're able to race with high school runners. So I've been racing like high school varsity for two years now. This is my third year. So I'm kind of used to like racing with like people that have, I don't know how to put it, like more experience, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Coming through the finish line there when you had the victory, what did that mean from a confidence perspective? Obviously, the season's not quite over with yet. More important races to come. But th getting this big title here today, how did that feel for you? I was really excited to know that I was able to, like, use... Well, all of our courses have been flat, so, like, I didn't really know what to expect with the hills this year. Well, this um, course I meant. But I was really excited that I was able to push through them and come out with the victory. And then finally, you know, no runner is 100% satisfied, even in victory. Um, were there anything out there that you kind of feel like, I can still kind of be better at? Um, probably like, I don't know, pushing through the top of the hill. Yeah. Well, it was an excellent effort here today. Again, 2019 Division One and Two Team Sweepstakes individual winner, Lauren Ping, Desert Vista of Arizona, who wins in 1647. Congratulations. Thank you.